I'm AJ Switek here with Mankato Moondogs field manager Danny Nealon. Coach, it was a really good team effort today. The hits didn't start coming around until the second half of the ball game, but your team was able to get out to an early lead. How were you guys able to take advantage of what was given to you in terms of the free passes? It was an interesting start to the game for sure. Um, we had three runs and no hits. You don't see that every day. So um, it was kind of nice to actually get rewarded for that a little bit because in the last couple of games we've been hitting the ball really, really hard and haven't gotten rewarded every single time. So it was kind of bound to happen to have a little bit of luck happen uh, your way. So it was nice to see that. And then on top of that, you know, we fell behind a little bit in the middle innings. Uh, it was good to see our guys just stay relentless to the plan and um, it paid off in a big way. Yeah, obviously everyone's going to see the runs. The bats did a really good job. Everyone was working deep into counts. But speaking of the arms on the mound, it feels like Mankato's really starting to reach a solid point with their staff where there's a true rotation and then a good group of guys who come out after. What have you liked that you've seen from the bullpen and the starters to this point in the season? My favorite part about it is um, the fact that everybody's just been ready for whatever situation is thrown at them. We've had some unique uh, things happen the last couple of nights where uh, we've had some injuries. We've had guys uh, reach the pitch count in innings early on where we've had to go to the bullpen earlier than anticipated, um, and guys have just been ready, uh, whether it was Shumsky uh, the other night or Peter Michael tonight. It doesn't matter. Um, everybody's just kind of been ready to to embrace whatever role is given to them, um, and I think that's my favorite part of that, uh, what we have going on in the staff right now. And I'm glad that you brought up the pitch count. Ryland Bain hit 34 pitches in the second <laughs> inning, was a pitch away from having to be pulled from the contest. So did that lead to Peter Michael getting hot early? Is that how he was ready to come in so early? And what did you like that you saw from him specifically? It was a really good relief outing. Yeah, I was pretty close to having a heart attack there in the uh, second inning with the uh, 34 pitches. Um, I, was, I was getting a little bit uh, heated because I knew um, it was going to create an interesting dynamic, but thankfully he found a way out of that and was able to get uh, a couple more innings. But, yeah, we had already planned um you know obviously when you get to that 30 pitch count you have to make a plan of of having somebody ready to go and peter was ready uh, we were able to hold it off for two innings um until he came in which bought us a little bit of time which was nice and then this is just a question i genuinely have as a fan how are the pitchers on the mound aware of how many pitchers how many pitches they've thrown like how do how are they aware when they're at that 34 pitch threshold and does it change their approach at all in terms of trying to fill up the zone yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if any of them are really all that aware of it. I, I suppose it depends on a you know each pitcher's dynamic. You know, some guys are hardly even aware of the 35 pitch count rule. So um, I don't know if they're checking the scoreboard every inning when that's getting up there. But I know we certainly are. Uh, anytime it gets up over 25, you have to be aware of it. So um, I don't know if they individually check it if uh, if they do or not. But I hope that they just are you know in the moment competing pitch to pitch. And obviously, weather permitting, there will be another game tomorrow against Minot. It's been crazy with the rain here from Mankato. You can never predict anything in terms of arm usage and delays. So what's the mindset going into tomorrow fresh off of a big division win? Yeah, uh, it's been, like you said, it's been a whirlwind uh, 48 hours here from the city of Mankato. And um, the message today will be the messages tomorrow. Um, we're lucky to be able to just go out and play baseball right now. We know there's a lot of people in Mankato that are going through some not very fun stuff, whether it's wet basements or, you know, cars being flooded in a parking garage, whatever the case may be. So um, we, we just thought today that, you know, there's, you know, kind of weird weather going on, but the easy part is we just get to show up and play baseball. So uh, that being said, our, our thoughts and prayers are with everybody in Mankato right now going through uh, what is happening in Mankato. I know it's not an easy time and people aren't, busting out their sump pumps pretty regularly now. So I hope everybody's safe and sound here in Mankato, and I hope this uh, rain can stop soon. Yeah, well, I really appreciate hearing that, Coach. Great game tonight, and good luck moving forward. Thank you.